Thank you for joining us for Debo's today. Again, all this week, we are looking here at the pitfalls of success. So we're not talking about how to be successful, but the things that cause you to fall into a trap through success. But we've seen that with music stars, haven't we? We've seen it with movie stars. People that especially, they don't know the Lord, and all of a sudden, great, great successful things happen, and they fall into a trap. But that can happen to any of us. So today, I want to talk about being concerned with the subject matter of pride. Uh, we saw yesterday, uh, Paul, Paul had a problem with that. Okay, now look with me here in Proverbs 29, verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low. Wow. That's kind of scary, isn't it? So if you're a prideful person, you're always kind of bragging about yourself. You really think you're something. The Bible says you're going to fall. Now look at me in Proverbs 27, verse 2. It says, let another man praise you and not your own mouth. Now, I, I liked when we were looking this week at uh, Barnabas and, and, and him and Paul. They were talking about how God used them on this missionary journey. But it said that they talked about everything that God did. So God wants you to tell others what you have done done as long as you're giving God all the glory. But if, if you're doing it to give yourself glory, you're going to be in trouble. You know, every so often I'll hear somebody bragging about all their knowledge or how gifted they are, how smart they are, or how successful they are. And my favorite phrase is, ooh, wing ding, big king. Ooh, you know, you're really something. Listen, we're, we're not supposed to be that kind of person if we are believers and followers of Jesus Christ. Winston Churchill once said, I, he said, I would have these enormous crowds of people that would come to hear me. He goes, and one day I looked at the crowd and I thought to myself, you know, if they said they were going to hang me tomorrow, double the amount of people would be there. I, I've repeated that because that's something all of us need to remember because uh, we have people that don't like us, which I'm going to talk more about tomorrow. Now look in John chapter 3. He says, uh, John the Baptist concerning Jesus, he says, he must increase, but I must decrease. Now, you know why I like this? The Bible says that Jesus said that John the Baptist was one of the greatest men who ever lived. And do you know why? Because of this. He said, he must increase and I must decrease. Uh, this is important. Now, I want to just talk about pastors here just for a moment. You know, since I've been in the ministry for many years now, they came up with this stupid, dumb holiday or recognition known as Pastor's Appreciation Day. Okay, I'm embarrassed they have that. I am. That's embarrassing. We're servants. We're servants. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't say thank you to somebody once in a while, but for us to have a special day in which we're going to praise them, and I know churches, and they buy big gifts for the pastors and everything. It's just dumb. It really is, and I think it sends out the wrong message. I, I think that we ought to be like John the Baptist, right? He must increase, and I must decrease. I, listen, I don't want to get all my rewards here upon the earth. I want to get them in heaven. Let's go to Colossians 1.18. He says that in all things that he, God, might have the preeminence. Okay, so that God receives all the honor, all the glory. Did you know the word humble comes from the word humus? And humus is about dirt. Okay, so uh, God made us out of the dirt of the ground, right? Oh, yes, he did. So when we want to brag on ourselves... We're, we're, we're really nothing but dirt. Now look in 1 Corinthians one thirty one. It says, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Everything that you say, you bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ. Now, one day there's going to be what is known as the judgment seat of Christ. And I want you to listen to this. And the Bible says all those things you did just to get your own glory. Hey, listen, I've done that. There's times in which I did things and I realized that I wanted people to, to notice me. Okay, that's embarrassing. You know, you have to grow out of that. I, I think there's going to be some really big bonfires there at the judgment seat of Christ. And some people, most of everything they ever did was for the recognition of other people. And you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Talking about people who live like that, 
prideful people always trying to bring glory to themselves. Listen, our lives are stories of transformation, aren't they? And we are to grow into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he was very humble, and he gave his life away again, once again. And it's not what you do, but who it is who you do it for. Give him the glory.